Coming up, we'll tell you what we know about an SUV and camper crash on Interstate 90. Plus, South Siouxland Libraries is helping kids with their reading skills. Good morning, this is Kettle Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. The Lincoln County Sheriff's Department is crediting seatbelts for likely saving the life of a driver involved in a serious crash on Interstate 29 Saturday. Investigators say the driver of a Jeep Liberty was attempting to pass a semi truck when the driver crossed the center line and sideswiped the semi. The Jeep then went into the median and rolled several times. The driver, who was wearing a seatbelt, was taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries and later ticketed for a lane driving violation. A Belfouche, South Dakota man has been identified in a deadly crash in the southern part of the city. Last Wednesday, a car was heading north on Highway 85 in Belfouche when it crossed into the southbound lanes. It sideswiped a pickup and then collided with a semi. The driver of the car, 43 year old Justin Martin, was pronounced dead at the scene. The other two drivers were not hurt. South Dakota's Highway Patrol is investigating the crash. No one was hurt after an SUV pulling a camper crashed on Interstate 90 Sunday. South Dakota's Highway Patrol posted this picture of the crash to its Facebook page. In the picture, you can see both the SUV and camper ended up on their roofs. You can also see a piece of the camper broke away from the rest. Highway Patrol says the portion of I-90 between Belvedere and 1880 Town was closed for a couple hours due to the crash. All month, Kettle Land Investigates has been looking into local cold cases. Tonight, we'll spend a full hour looking back at more than a dozen unsolved crimes and disappearances, including the 1999 killing of a Sioux Falls woman whose body was discovered in her car. Where they're loading up that black car on that flatbed and knowing that there's where my baby is. Hear from Pamela Halverson's mother about her disappearance and the investigation that followed. Plus, we'll check in with investigators about efforts to find Serenity Denard. Tips continue to come in on the little girl lost on a cold winter day. Join us for our hour long primetime special tonight at 8 o'clock Central Time, right here on Kelloland TV. Turning to other now, temperatures have fallen out of the 90s here in Kelloland. Let's find out for how long with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Good morning, Brian. Yes, good morning, guys. Good morning, everybody. Quite a remarkable cool down this morning. We've had lows in the 40s for many folks north of Sioux Falls. Let's look at the map here since midnight. Aberdeen down to 45. Eureka low at 40 this morning and uh, Brookings 47. So definitely some Canadian air moving in and highs today. Upper 60s and low 70s along Interstate 29 and east. Looks like highs into the middle and upper 70s for western South Dakota. Well, enjoy the cool down while it lasts because it's not going to last long. We'll have details on the seven day in just a couple minutes. Thank you, Brian. The Siouxland Library is helping kids with their literacy skills through a new reading kit. They launched the kits in mid-May and they're open for all ages. They organize books and games by literacy skills. Each kit focuses on a different skill, including decoding, fluency, and comprehension. Some books are really hard versus other books that are really easy. We wanted to make um, it easier for parents and caregivers to just come in and know what books to get right away. Organizer of the kits, Jenna Negabauer, says the kits also help organize reading levels, making the choices for books easier to find. More than 10,000 customers have taken in a movie at the Historic State Theater in downtown Sioux Falls. The newly restored theater reopened six months ago after being closed for more than 30 years. Management says attendance has been steady with sellouts on many weekends. Classic films are big draws to the theater. We want to be different than what you know a lot of the other movie theaters are showing, so we like to bring in a variety of movies, something for everyone each weekend. The State Theater still sees a lot of first-time customers coming through the doors to watch a movie and check out the building renovations. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, we'll find out what the state expects for attendance in this week and the weeks ahead as it lifts COVID restrictions. Be sure to watch tonight at 10 o'clock. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? Okay, today's weather forecast at North Wind will continue. You'll notice that and also 
The cool air, relatively speaking, a few clouds will likely billow up during the peak heating of the day, but really not yielding much in the way of organized rain chances at this time. We are forecasting tonight also to be quite cool. We'll have some 40s by daybreak, but then we're going to moderate back into the 70s and 80s tomorrow. So a little warmer. Sioux Falls is expected to get back to about 81, 82 in the afternoon. And I think Pier and Rapid will be even warmer than that. There could be a couple of stray showers or thunder showers in eastern Nebraska, western Iowa. May sneak in just south of Sioux Falls. That is really uh, at best 20% level at this point. But I do want to at least mention that. The other thing I want to bring up here, obviously it's going to get hotter Wednesday, Thursday. We're advertising that in our seven-day forecast. And then by the time we pull this map back in here on Thursday, there is an area of low pressure. It's passing through. You're going to see some probably better chances of rain in Nebraska and Iowa. It could include Sioux Falls. It's a 30% chance. If we manage to get a storm, by the way, there could be severe weather with that. So that's another thing we'll consider. It's June after all, and this is about prime time for severe weather this time of year. Might see some showers on Friday. That's still a big if. I'm not sold yet on that. And then I think the emerging problem at the end of June into July is all this heat out west and what to do with that. So that's kind of a lingering problem that we'll have to deal with and at some point down the road in the future. But in the short term, 70 today. Sioux Falls feels pretty nice. 75 in Mitchell. Here's your seven day. So incrementally warmer, 82 tomorrow, 92 Wednesday, 93 Thursday. Thursday night, front swings through, chance of storms. Then we cool things down a little bit. If we could generate a little rain, that would help a lot. Low to mid 80s Friday, Saturday. So a little bit more seasonable, I'll call it. But still, on a drought year, your tendency is to have higher temperatures as the default. And it doesn't take much to heat back up in the 90s. Look at Aberdeen, 97 Wednesday. We may not even be hot enough. We might have to raise it to 100 yet. Uh, the Thursday forecast, 98. There's a slim chance of rain with the front. We've kept that out of the pier forecast for Thursday night. As the front swings through, we're still up to 100 on Wednesday. And rapid is basically dry too this week. You've had, you know, more areas of rain the last several weeks in western South Dakota, but even that's becoming a little harder to come by. So drought is definitely a big story. Check out details. We've got our Storm Center update posted right now at Kelloland.com with more information. Stay tuned.